Hey guys, today's video covers uh, MD-PhD programs. They're also known as medical scientist training programs. Are they right for you? So what is a MD-PhD program? Uh, it, as its name suggests, it's an MD and PhD program that you can apply for. Um, some schools have this. Uh, medical schools, of course, uh, the major medical schools have MD-PhD programs. <clears throat> Um, during the course of the program, you would be studying a uh, typical medical school uh, curriculum. Uh, you'd be in the cohort with the other uh, med students, but you would also be um, assigned to a research lab at the university. And at the research lab, you would work with a professor called a principal investigator um, and other members of the professor's lab, uh, including postdocs, uh, graduate students, technicians, etc. And you'll be doing research. Um, so you're essentially doing two completely different degrees uh, at the same time. One in medicine uh, toward a clinical uh, a job and the other one in research towards a research job. Uh, what, what, um, how long does it take? Okay, a program, a typical MD-PhD program takes about seven years. Um, why? Because again, you're trying to study for a med school degree, a medical degree, and you're trying to complete a doctorate in research at the same time, which requires you to do research, publish papers, and um, submit, you know, uh, you know uh, a, a thesis, basically defend a thesis successfully, and that's not an easy thing to do. In fact, uh, a PhD program by itself usually takes between five and a half to six and a half years. So it's really a you know fast uh, program. It's it's everything streamlined. I think at UT Southwestern, um, the first two years of the program are uh, medical school, and then the middle four years um, are. No, the middle three years are, are uh, graduate school, and then the last two years are medical school again. So you got medical school, graduate school, medical school, and then you graduate with your MD, PhD. Um, and yeah, it's very challenging, as you can imagine. Okay, what are the, what are the perks to uh, MD, PhD programs? Well, there, there are huge, there's a number of them. Um, one perk is that you get to, you know, once you're a doctor, you get to not just diagnose um, people's illnesses and then just uh, implement a treatment that's already been discovered. You can go into your own research lab and try to discover a cure for whatever it is uh, you're, you're diagnosing as a clinician. So, for example, I worked with a, a pediatrician, uh, MD, PhD at UT Southwestern, and he would, on certain days of the week, he would go into the clinic and he would uh, diagno uh, diagnose uh, uh, children. Uh, these, a lot of these children had cancer, um, and he would, you know, he's a pediatric oncologist. He would, he would look at, you know, the children and, and try to treat their cancers. But on the other days, uh, he would work with us in the lab uh, with basic research, trying to understand those cancers better, trying to treat them with uh, gene therapy, with viruses and such. Uh, so that's pretty cool if you're, you know, you're, you're trying to not just diagnose things as a doctor and, um, you know, prescribe treatments that are already there, but you're trying to make those treatments. You're trying to um, actually come up with them yourself. So that's really cool. That's one of the perks of being an MD, PhD. You can do stuff that regular MDs or regular PhDs can't do. Um, what is another perk? It's free. And not only is it, not only is an MD, PhD or medical scientist training program free, uh, they pay you the whole time. So um, you're getting a stipend because you're essentially a researcher and it's a pretty good stipend. Uh, when I was in college in 2000, or I should say graduate school in 20, uh, 2003 to 2009, um, they paid us about $27,000 a year just to attend. Um, 
the MSTP program's the same. They pay you uh, to attend school. You don't have to pay for medical school. Uh, it's not, it doesn't work that way. Um, you go to medical school and graduate school at the same time. They pay you, uh, you know, the whole time you're there. And not only are you paid a living salary the whole time you're in school, getting an MD and a PhD, um, they also give you benefits usually. They give you health benefits, dental, vision even sometimes. Um, so that's awesome. It's like a full-time job. Most people go to medical school and they come out with uh, over $100,000 debt, sometimes well over $100,000 debt. Uh, but you're going to medical school and you're coming out with zero debt not only zero debt you're coming out ahead you're you're, you're you've been paid yeah you, if you had been really careful with your money you could actually save money uh, so that's awesome so those are the perks I think um, oh and there's another big perk to um, MD PhD programs and the other big perk is that you stand out um, if you're an MD PhD um, you you're gonna get that fellowship you want wherever you want you want to go to Harvard and do a fellowship at Harvard you, you, you know you have a way leg up on someone who's just done an MD uh, it's just more impressive in every every aspect and what when you're in that job at that hospital you're you know, gonna be able to move up even faster because you have that background that research background that the other MDs just don't so that's kind of cool so what are the drawbacks of MD PhD programs Okay, uh, there are some. Uh, not everyone wants to spend seven years in school uh, getting a degree. But keep in mind, keep in mind, yeah, it's seven years instead of the four for med school or the five and a half to six and a half for PhD alone. Um, but you, you're getting paid the whole time. Um, what would you rather have? Uh, would you rather finish school in four years and then have $200,000 debt like a normal MD? Or would you rather finish school in seven years and have zero debt, uh, like an MD, PhD, like an MSTP student? I don't know. I think it's worth the extra few years of school, because uh, not only are you getting out with zero debt, you can help cure the diseases that you're studying, and uh, you can, you, like I said, you have zero debt. You can move on, and you're more impressive. You have a, a faster track to the top. You want to be the head of the hospital. An MD PhD would have a easier time getting to the head of the hospital and becoming that lead surgeon or that lead researcher at that university and getting all those positions. So um, yeah, it's up to you. Another drawback to MD PhD programs is that they're highly super hyper competitive. Okay, um, you could easily get into medical school or you can struggle to get into an MD-PhD program. So um, I've, I've known people who have easily got into Harvard Med School who would have otherwise struggled to get into an MD-PhD program. Um, I know people who got into Harvard Medical School uh, but couldn't get into an equivalent MD-PhD program and settled for a lower MD-PhD program, a lower program in general so that they could do both degrees at the same time. It's just hyper competitive. If, if a school has like 200 medical students, it might only have like, mm, I don't know, 11 to 17 MD PhDs that year. And it fluctuates depending on the grant monies available. Um, but yeah, it's up to you really. Um, you know, ultimately it's up to you. Do you care about uh, finding discoveries for the diseases that you're coming into contact with every day as a doctor um, or do you just want to be a doctor diagnose the thing try to cure it with whatever uh, medicines are available at the time uh, which you are not you know producing you're not making those those uh, uh, you're not you're not you're not uh, doing the research to come up with those cures you're 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 prescribing cures that someone else came up with um, and some people are not satisfied with that. They don't want to just diagnose and, you know, prescribe something. They want to diagnose, prescribe something, and then go into a lab and try to figure out a better way, you know, maybe, maybe a new way to, you know, solve that problem or cure that disease. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, MD-PhDs are a good option if you're interested in medicine and research as well. You want to cure stuff and see patients. Um, school's free takes a while but it's awesome I didn't mention you also have to do 
uh, more training after your MD PhD. Most MD PhDs get out and they'll do a medical fellowship and residency and they'll do a research fellowship as well. So that could be an extra couple of years on top. But, you know, is it worth it to you? You have to ask yourself that. Um, as always, uh, please like, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions about MD-PhD programs, um, leave them below. I'll be happy to address that in a follow-up video. If you have any questions in general about things or other uh, avenues toward research or medicine, uh, let me know and I'll make a video about that. Uh, as always, thanks again. Uh, please subscribe and uh, be seeing you next time.